Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons. In my previous lessons I show you how to memorize 3 and 1 letter abbreviations of 15 amino acids and today we are going to learn the last 5. So let me separate these two tables and our first amino acid is going to be serine and only one amino acid that start with S. So it is very easy to memorize that first three letters is specify this amino acid S, E and R and one letter abbreviation is going to be S. So it is very easy to memorize but with next three amino acid it would be much harder because they start with T and only one would have T as one letter abbreviation. Take a look. Threonine, tryptophan and tyrosine. And if you take a look you will find a certain pattern that though they start with first letter T, the second letter would be different and how to memorize which amino acid would have T as one letter abbreviation. So serenine second letter is H, tryptophan second letter is R and tyrosine second letter is Y. So if we put them in order H in alphabet goes first. So this is how we can memorize it. Zeranine one letter abbreviation is going to be T. As for the tryptophan take a look at this picture and tryptophan first three letters also would be hard to memorize because only four amino acids out of all amino acid has three letter abbreviation that is not first three letters. As you remember from previous uh, lesson uh, we have another such amino acid isoleucine where first three letters is going to be I L E and not I S O Y because basically it consists of two words either stand for the isomer and leucine stand for the leucine amino acid so hence the name I from the first word and LE from the second word. And another such amino acid is going to be tryptophan. It is basically also two words, trypto and fan. Trypto means rub and you also can memorize this amino acid when you rub something, you just making such movements. For example, if you wash a car, you basically make such movements that resemble the structure of this amino acid R chain. And the second part of the word fan. So again we have in three letter abbreviation first two letters come from the first part of the word and P comes from the second part of the word which usually we can find in the name of some compounds and minerals. For example Hydrophen. This is how you can memorize this three letter abbreviation. One more time, just memorize that tryptophan consists of two words. So, three letter abbreviation is not going to be first three letters of this amino acid. Another such amino acid is going to be isoleucine, which consists of two words. And three letters abbreviation is also going to be not first three letters of the name of this amino acid. And two more is going to be asparagine, which is a mite of the aspartic acid. As you see, first three letters is not going to be ASP, but ASN. And another uh, amide is going to be glutamine. This is a mite of the glutamic acid. And first three letters is going to be GLN and not GLU. So just four amino acids whose three letters abbreviation you have to memorize and also sometimes when scientists not sure whether the uh, amino acid is asparagine or aspartic acid they also use special three letters abbreviation which is going to be first two letters of um, acidic amino acid and X. And the same is true for glutamine or glutamic acid, acidic amino acid and its amide also first three letters are going to be different first two letters plus X. 
Now I hope you memorize it. First three letters are going to be for tryptophan TRP. But how we are going to memorize that one letter abbreviation is going to be W. If you take a look at the R group of this amino acid, especially if we put it on the side, you would notice that we can put W here. And this is the only one amino acid where we can actually put W in the R chain. So this is very easy to memorize that one letter abbreviation for this amino acid is going to be W. What about tyrosine? And three letter abbreviation is going to be just for three letters of this amino acid. And how do we memorize that one letter abbreviation is going to be Y. Take a look at this picture which specify this amino acid and you also would notice that we can put Y here in the R group. So very easy to memorize. What about valine? First three letters just come from the name of this amino acid VAL and how do we memorize V? Again we only have one amino acid that start with V. So we can just put V. Another way to memorize, take a look at this picture. This is structure of the valine and many people just memorize that one letter abbreviation V is going to be because we can put V here which is going to be upside down. Now let's hide this part of this table with amino acids and now let's check how we have been able to memorize this five last amino acids. So let's start with the end of this list, serine. Do you remember three letter abbreviation is going to be S E R because there is no competition for these first three letters in this amino acid and this is not the amino acid that consists of two words and not amide of the aspartic acid or glutamic acid. So it's obviously three letter abbreviation just going to be first three letters of the name of this amino acid and one letter abbreviation is going to be S because this is only one amino acid that start with S. And now as for the three amino acids that start with T. For example, zeranine, what is the three letters abbreviation is going to be? It's going to be just first three letters of the name of this amino acid T H R. And what going to be one letter abbreviation? As you remember, because we have three amino acid that start with T, we just have to check the second letter. And in alphabetic order, the first is going to be H. So Zeranian, one letter abbreviation is going to be T. And as for the tryptophan, now you remember that this word consists of basically two words, trypto and fan. Three letter abbreviation is going to be T, R, and P. And what is the one letter abbreviation? Do you remember side chain which resemble W? So it's going to be W. As for the tyrosine, first three letters is going to be just T, Y, and R. And one letter abbreviation is going to be second letter in the name of this amino acid, which is going to be Y. And also some of you may recall that our group of this amino acid also resemble Y. And as for the valine, also very easy to memorize. Only one amino acid start with V, so first three letters is going to be V, A, L, and one letter abbreviation is going to be just V. Now we can compare with this table and you would see how easy it is memorize last five amino acid, three letter abbreviation and one letter abbreviation. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day and see you in the next video. Goodbye.